you're watching Into Wine TV, and today we're at Encanto in San Francisco, and we're tasting wines from strange places. Today we're tasting the Valleta Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a 2006 from the Andalusia region of Spain, and it retails for $16. Bartholomew, what are your thoughts? I think uh, value for money you're getting a lot here. I think $16 is an exceptionally good price for this wine. It's exactly where it should be. It's a difficult wine because it's not sweet, but it is sweet. It's, it's not port, but it's port-like. It's really intense. The alcohol at 14%, is it, roughly, uh, is in balance. It's, it's good. To me, it's a little bit high. I think it's a well-made wine for what it is. I, I just wonder, what would I drink this with? If I was in a bar, I finished my night, I was in a bar drinking wine, which is rare, I usually drink beer in bars, um, this would be a good bar drink. Uh, but as far as food goes, I'm having a tough time. What would I pair this with? Maybe a really, really good um, stew or um, pot roast or something. But I don't know, it's, to me, it's, it's, it's got some ele elements I don't like about it, but I think other people would love it. So mm -hmm. it's, I'm on the fence with this one. Now, I know that you love port, but let's say someone wanted to have a sort of port-like dessert wine, would this be a nice replacement no, for that? No, because it's not enough sweetness um, to be port. It's not enough alcohol either. And why not drink port? Yeah. <laughs> of course you would say that. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I think I would agree with Bartholomew on this wine. Um, I feel like there is a lot of fruit. The alcohol is noticeable. It's a little high for me. And there are tannins. What's lacking is mid-palate. You get fruit up front, tannin on the end, and in the middle, it kind of just drops out. So I would like to see a little more stuffing, a little more substance with this wine, the structure, overall structure of this wine, to merit the fruit up front and the tannins on the end, and the alcohol. I mean, I know, I know this is Cabernet Sauvignon. I feel like wherever these grapes were grown, it was probably too warm for Cabernet Sauvignon, to my liking. Um, I mean, I drink wines from all over the world. Cabernet Sauvignon, when I drink Cabernet Sauvignon, I like there to be black currant. I like there to be a little mint, a little eucalyptus, a little cedar, judicious oak influence. That's what I like in Cabernet Sauvignon, whether it be a $100 bottle or a $25 bottle. Price is not the issue. This wine, to me, lacks all of that. It lacks definition. It lacks those characteristics. It lacks the structure, which leads me to think, well, then, I'm not sure I'd want to drink Cabernet, this type of Cabernet. I'd rather drink, if I wanted to drink a warm climate wine, I'd rather drink a Cote du Rhone, a Chateau Neuf de Pop, a Sicilian Red, something else. For me, I think this is um, a, a big people-pleasing wine. I think this is a, for, for, for a wide variety of people, particularly in the United States, this is a very um, people-pleasing wine because you get serious oak, actually, and um, big fruit. It, it almost seems as, as if it were geared to the U.S. market. I'm wondering if this wine is sold in the area where it's made. Mm -hmm. There's sort of a recipe of what people in the United States like. I'm generalizing right now, but it seems as um, this, this wine really sort of checks off those things that people like. I do agree with you that it's not as um, well integrated as it might be, but it definitely hits those points that people really enjoy. Yeah, and I think, you know, I've had American wines similar to this at more than twice the price. So I think, again, if you're the type of person that likes this type of wine, it's a good, it's a good buy. Personally, it's not my type of wine. I wouldn't buy this, but a lot of people would, as you say, it's a party wine it's drink. It's a people pleaser. Give it to the great unwashed in a party and they'll happily drink it. All right. For your next holiday party, keep that in mind. A good people-pleasing wine. This is the Valleta Cabernet Sauvignon from the Andalusia region of Spain. It's a 2006. And thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.